So here we are in the inside of the all new 2017 Cadillac XT5. Uh, this trim is actually the platinum. Um, but if you just look at the dashboard and everything, kind of go between this and the SRX, Cadillac did a great job of cleaning up the whole dashboard, kind of making everything a little bit more simplified uh, than it was. Um, some of the features inside that are immediately noticeable, one of the main ones is the new electronic transmission. So what Cadillac did there is they took the standard transmission out. Um, and what that allowed them to do was actually get rid of a lot of the noise and vibration in the interior here uh, that they were getting from a standard transmission. And they went to more of a joystick type electronic transmission that you may have seen on uh, BMWs. Um, I believe there are some other vehicles. Mercedes has one similar to this, uh, but it's nice simplified transmission. And the, also the thing that it did was open up, there is a pass through now uh, underneath of the, what used to be the transmission tunnel. So there's actually a little storage compartment underneath of here that you can access from the passenger or the driver's side. Uh, there's also a charger in the front there. So it's nice for maybe if you have a laptop or a tablet or something and you want to kind of get it out of the way, stick it in there, uh, charge it. It's also nice for women they can put their purse in there rather than put it on the floor on the passenger side or, or in the back seat. Um, one of the other nice things about the XT5 from going from the SRX, the thing that it's, I think is one of the big things is you can actually go between the front wheel drive and an all wheel drive system. So there is a mode button right down here on the console that you push um, and up here on your driver information center, you have three different drive modes. So you have a touring. Touring is gonna be your front wheel drive only. Um, so, I mean, that's gonna save you if you don't need, uh, the, you know, if the driving conditions don't require um, all wheel drive, you know, front wheel drive would be great. So you can just go into that. It's gonna save you in fuel economy. Um, you have an all wheel drive setting and a sport setting. So you just push the mode button and it's gonna highlight uh, all wheel drive. You see it change here in the driver information center. There's also a light that's gonna come on right here on the console that says all wheel drive and it's gonna have a light right above it to let you know that it's in all wheel drive mode. Uh, the third one is sport. Sport, you're still gonna be all wheel drive, but it's gonna actually change the way that the vehicle shifts. It's gonna be a little bit more, more sporty shift. Um, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna kinda put the RPMs out a little bit more, get you a little bit more power, a little bit more aggressive drive. So again, I, I think this is a you know great feature. On the SRX, you either had to be front wheel drive or an all wheel drive vehicle. Uh, so now with this, it completely disengages the rear wheels if you are in front wheel drive. So uh, a lot of nice features. The other feature that they changed that I know a lot of people complained about on the SRX was the lack of a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Uh, the SRXs were all manual. Um, the X-T5 now has power tilt and telescope. So, you know, again, that was one of the things that Cadillac customers in the SRXs were complaining about was that lack of uh, that power steering function. So that's in here now. And for more information on the new 2017 X-T5, visit smailcadillac.com.